good. Good. Um, yeah. Joys of uh, being nine weeks pregnant, I guess. Are you are you throwing up or just kind of nauseated? <laughs> throwing up every day? <laughs> Not every day. Um, randomly. So. I know that labor is labor and it's hard work and I don't know that from experience I just know that because everyone else says it <laughs> and so anyways but I try to just when I worry about labor I try and just push it to the back of my mind Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, January 11th, 2023, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Earlier today, I received an exclusive tip of someone that actually happened to see Anna Duggar down in Seagaville at the center where Josh is staying with all seven of her kids, and it was right before Christmas. And so I have some tea that I'm about to drop with you that might be a little bit disappointing for some of you and maybe a little bit disheartening but it involves Anna Duggar traveling with seven children from Arkansas to Texas, a visit with Josh and her that was anything but pleasant, and a lot of tension that was in the air the day that these children were in the visiting center. So Josh Duggar is currently serving 12 years, seven months, and he is at Seagaville, which is low security, and he gets six points a month, meaning that he can have up to six visits if it's a weekday visit, or he can have three weekend visits. On this specific day, Anna went on a Friday, so it was a weekday visit, and it was near the end of the month. So because of the ages of the kids, she can actually bring all of them, and all of them were in, were in attendance. So Josh Duggar is for sure seeing his family, which is going to keep leave some of us scratching our heads. But things in Duggar, Josh, and Anna Land are not stellar, according to the sources that I've spoken to. Before we dive into today's topic of Anna Duggar traveling to Texas with the kids, can you do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and turn the notifications on so you know when I go live or new content loads. And as always, make sure to share this video with your friends and leave a comment if you have something to say. So earlier today, I received a message from a woman who has a loved one in Seagaville, and they actually happen to have the same day of visiting as Josh. Apparently, the visiting is based on the, the like the num the specific number of the name, your fifth letter of the name, and whatever that is, if it's odd or if it's even, I don't know. But their loved one has the same visiting as Josh, and apparently, this person is there quite a bit and has happened to see. Anna and some other guests that have gone to visit Josh. Josh does get regular visitors, according to the person I talked to, and he is extremely uh, well known in this facility. They they seem to keep an eye on who, on him and watch him like a hawk. Uh, apparently, there's uh, a group that kind of connects and talks through things, and there's been a lot of gossip about Josh and his relationship with Anna. So, uh, Josh and Anna have been married for, I don't know, since 2008 or 2009, 14, 13 or 14 years. So Anna has seven children and she had had one child while Josh was going through this, this whole situation. Uh, she had M Madison in October and Josh went to trial in no December. He's never lived with Madison ever. Uh, so they have seven children and Anna has been living with Jim, Bob and Michelle, but also traveling down to see Josh, which is like a seven hour drive. So this is what the source told me. So on the day in question, Anna arrived in the morning with all seven of her kids. Apparently when you do a visit, the kit, uh, there is, you can bring money in with a bag that's like, uh, uh, clear bag. So everything that you bring into the facility, there's certain things that you can bring in and certain things you can't, but everything has to be in a clear bag because they have to be able to see what you're bringing in. So you can bring in money to use the vending machines. Vending machines are extremely expensive. So on the day in question, Anna was there with all of the kids. Apparently during this visit, Anna was with not basically 
the way that the source described it was Anna and Josh were not even talking. Uh, Josh was interacting with his kids and Anna was basically like corralling the kids, chasing after Mariella. And Josh sat and held Madison the entire time. So that's the baby. And then was also interacting with um, Marielle, um, with Mason and Meredith. And then the older kids wanted basically nothing to do with Josh. So the way that this person explained is that generally on like visiting days when kids come, families will do things like together. Like there's a kids play area where the kids can play. Um, the inmates have to stay in a specific area, but they have games that they can play. So there's like board games and there's coloring that they can do uh, where everyone in, in the family can kind of be together. And on this specific day, uh, the kids, the older kids wouldn't even talk to Josh, wouldn't even look at him, wanted nothing to do with him, the source said. And they also said that Anna and Josh like barely even uttered a word to each other. Like the way that it was described is Josh was sitting on one side of the, the table and Anna was sitting not even across from him, but down with the other kids. And Josh was like in another land, just sort of hanging out with his baby girl. I was actually pretty shocked to hear that all seven kids were there at a time, but apparently there's a rule that if kids are under the age of five, they don't count. And so there's only supposed to be like a five max per visit. But in Josh's case, because so many kids are under the age of five, they were able to come with all seven kids. She drove down in a like black car, like black cargo van, I guess. Uh, and she was by herself. So there was no other adults with her. And she was apparently relying heavily on Mackenzie and Michael to basically do all the child watching for her and helping with the kids. But Anna, they said, looked stressed out. She looked upset. She didn't look happy. Josh seemed disinterested, not engaged. He, They said that they didn't even touch. They didn't greet each other with a hug or a kiss. They didn't uh, hug or kiss goodbye. It was very awkward, they said. They did mention that Anna was extremely friendly with other women and other wives, but when it came to Josh, it was like tense. They said it was like you could cut it with a knife. So what kind of shocked me more than anything wasn't necessarily like there was a tension between Anna and Josh because I had a feeling that that's where this was going to come. They honestly said that it didn't even feel like they were married, like they even liked each other. It was more just like she was there kind of doing her duty of having to like be there. And uh, Josh is actually described by these people as um, he's pretty quiet, they said, that, but he's polite, he keeps to himself, he's a very goody two-shoes. So uh, there's people that are willing to break the rules and sort of like skirt by and get into bad things. And Josh is kind of of the opposite where he's basically following the rules and keeping out of the fray and really just staying to himself. Uh, and as far as um, whether or not he's well-liked, he doesn't really have a lot of friends, I guess. He doesn't really interact that much with people there. Keeps to himself for the most part. So like the way that this woman described it is like generally when an inmate sees their family they get like super excited and they're like hugging their family and they're like jovial and it's like very uh, it's a it's a celebratory time for them to come in and she said that when Anna walks when Josh walked in to see Anna it was just like he had nothing to say <laughs> at all um, and then he literally spent the whole time just holding Madison who is one years old so that led me to believe that gave me some questions as like, how is Josh given everything that the prosecutors were saying and the U S attorneys were saying about him ge being allowed to see his kids? Why is he being allowed to see his kids? And why is Anna bringing him the kids to see him? This was a man that at the sentencing, the U S prosecutors were begging the judge to protect his kids from him. And now we find out that the warden has approved visits for Josh with his children. And what concerns me most is that like he's able to hold his kids. Like this woman said that Madison was sitting on Josh's lap with Josh the entire time. Like he didn't take his hands off Madison the whole time. And another thing that kind of made me realize something is that the older kids, she said, seemed angry with him, like didn't want to talk to him didn't want to see him, weren't very interested in, in him. And that actually doesn't really surprise me. I would guess that Mackenzie and Michael are old enough to be angry with their dad for being gone. They probably understand what's going on with their dad and they're probably mad about it. 
but what concerns me more than anything is Anna bringing the kids to see him. Like, what is she, what is going on in Anna's brain where this is where she's at today, where she interfered with the CPS investigation, wouldn't let the kids be reviewed, and now traveling with the kids seven, eight hours to go see their dad and then spend time with their dad when they don't even really want to be there, at least the older kids don't. Uh, the way that this woman described it is that Aunt, the oldest kids like Mackenzie, Michael, Marcus, uh, even Meredith were kind of like indifferent to Josh. And it was only the youngest ones, the little ones that wanted anything to do with him. And he was only interested in the little ones. He didn't have, he didn't want anything to do with the older ones either, they said. And another thing that they said is that Josh has had other visitors and what they thought was very different here is that Josh has had a couple visitors that they're not sure who they are. We're still kind of working out those details to figure this out. But when he has had other visitors, he is completely opposite as when Anna's there. So uh, he's had a couple friends come visit and when they visit, he's like engaged, he's like excited, he's, you know, very invested in like the conversations, he's leaning into the conversations, he's, you know, he's interested. But when Anna's there, he's like, I don't even care anymore. So. This is, I, this is odd to me because Anna and Josh are supposed to be, you know, like in love, right? And Anna's like never going to leave him because of her faith. But this literally sounds like misery. Like they don't like each other apparently. The kids don't even want to see him. And Anna is bringing the kids and putting them through this. And I still can't believe a warden would sign off on this. Now, when I talked to a mom who had a son there, she had said that they don't like to punish the children and they don't like to punish the family for what the inmates have done. And so because of that, they don't like to keep parents away from their kids if the kids want to see them and if the other parent allows it. We all know that Anna's not the best judge of character and clearly doesn't make the best decisions, but to know that she's there is shocking. And so... Obviously, I wanted proof, and so I got some photograph, some photos of Anna like walking out of Seagaville. So they were taken in public. They're not inside the facility, and she was definitely there. Uh, she has been going again, like I said, at least once a month, and visits are generally tense. He is much nicer, apparently, with other people that are not Anna. So Josh and Anna's relationship is definitely not doing very well and the kids are being forced to go see him. I I try to imagine a world where someone can go to prison like Josh with the conviction that he has and then have a wife stand by him, knowing what he's done, refusing to believe what he's done, and then bringing the kids to see him, knowing the ages of the children that were in the videos, and then allowing your, your husband to hold that infant the entire time. And apparently, this is what the person said is that, Visits start in the morning and they're from like 9 until 3.30 and they can literally stay all day long as long as they want. They get a break at like 11 to go to the restroom, but beyond that, like it's a very loose and lax environment. Uh, they could theoretically visit multiple times a weekend, like say if she travels to Arkansas, he gets visits on Saturdays and so she could do a Friday visit and a Saturday visit and go for two full days, but apparently that didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, so she could spend, you know, two, seven hour days with him. The visits are only supposed to be four hours, but the way that this person described it was that they're not, they're usually like seven, six, seven hours, uh, expense. And, oh, and another thing that they thought was super, super odd was the kids refused to play any board games. They refused to be engaged in any games. Uh, and they also were refusing to let the kids eat. So, uh, there was like, vending machines obviously and apparently the kids all wanted to eat and they would not let him which everyone which kind of, kind of caused like a little bit of chaos that day the person said because they were hungry and, and they wouldn't let him eat and the person said that they've never seen parents do something like that like not let the kids eat they did say that it's really expensive like a coke they said is like 275 so it's very expensive to feed kids so that could be why but why bring your kids there if you're not going to feed them and then bring them for five hours and not feed them makes no sense. But it makes more less sense to me that Josh actually got to see his kids. That's what left my heart hurting. Uh, not I was not surprised to hear that Anna is not happy with Josh nor that Josh is happy with Anna. I was shocked to hear that he's like getting visitors from other people. And again, I have some tea on that, which is a little bit, it's literally the the 
we're working to shore it up, but you will not believe, honestly, the information that I'm getting about what Josh is involved in right now. It's, it, it'll blow your mind, blow your mind. So, uh, that's what I have for tonight. Anna Duggar in Seagaville, Josh and Anna are fighting. All of the kids were there. The oldest kids wanted nothing to do with him. Anna looked miserable and Josh could have cared less that she was there according to the sources. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.